Hello and welcome to this meditation, our third meditation for the month of May, and we're going to continue on meditating with stress. And uh, before I hit the record button, <laughs> I was saying how the real key to working with stress is this idea of mindfulness and the idea that stress and anxiety and depression and all of those things cannot exist in the present moment only. It needs us to worry about what's going to happen in the future for us to get anxious about it. So that's why mindfulness is the key to uh, bringing, us in the, in, uh, bringing us into the present moment because even though there may be such things as pain and maybe itching and discomfort uh, in the present moment, they are not problems until we construct them as problems and label them as problems in our mind. And so if we just have bare awareness of that present moment, then we can allow the mind made worries to just drift away as we become uh, in the present moment. And in fact, rather than pain and suffering in the present moment, there is actually great bliss in the present moment if our mind settles to such a degree that it becomes peaceful then we enter into a state where we actually feel incredibly peaceful and even blissful and have you know great feelings of oneness that sort of thing so mindfulness is the key and so it's not without reason that our core meditations the ones we sort of practice each week have something to do with mindfulness and of course, the one that is the favorite uh, the world over, the most common meditation is some sort of meditation on the breath. And the one that I learned is, uh, we, uh, we, my, my teacher called it diamond recitation because it's like a little diamond. Every time you concentrate on the breath, going in, retention and going out. So uh, we can relax our body. Um, each breath we can... Uh, take it down one more notch, one more notch, one more notch until we become very relaxed. So for our first meditation, we're just going to simply sit and, um, uh, and concentrate on the breath. I will allow you to spend some time in silence and then I'll remind you that if you have been distracted to come back to the breath and uh, I will talk a little bit about uh, the colors of the breath in order to give your mind something a little bit more than just the bare breath alone to think about as we as we concentrate on the breath to try to uh, keep the mind uh, so to speak engaged on the breath so having done our little stretches we'll do a nice little stretch for meditation and I've got my bowl here which I like to ring even though it's online when you're ready get into a comfortable position whether that's you know sitting or lying down or kneeling or on a stool and make a commitment to come into the present moment for the duration of this meditation, probably about 10 minutes, and allow the past to be the past and allow the future to take care of itself when we eventually get there. There's no need, need to be in the past or the future. At this point in time, we're taking a moment to come into the present moment. And to help us do that, gradually also, when you're in the present moment, be aware of your surroundings and just allow your awareness to gradually move inwards. So I like to sort of just be aware of the sounds around me, the smells in the room. If you've got your eyes open a little bit, then be aware of what visual images you can see and sort of say to yourself, you know, the present moment is perfect just the way it is and just allow those sounds to be there. 
even disturbing sounds. Just allow them to be there. Don't pay them any heed. Uh, and by allowing them to be there, confident that they'll still be there when we finish the meditation, you can bring the focus of your mind inwards. Again, if you do meditate with your eyes open and bring the focus of your gaze to one place in front of you, bring your mind in from the sounds around you, from the feelings around you, and bring your mind into the body. And again, take a moment to be aware of the body. Check that it's in a comfortable position and is happy to sit there. And when you get agreement from the body, then you can further reduce the scope of your attention right down to one part of your body where you can feel the breath. And whether for you that's the chest expanding and contracting or the diaphragm moving up or down or my favorite is probably the feeling of the air going in and out of our nose. Whatever works for you, bring the mind in and try to be totally mindful of just this awareness of the feeling of the breath going in, retaining for a moment, and then being breathe, breathing out. <clears throat> Breathing in, retaining for a moment, and then breathing out. If there are any sounds that disturb you, just allow them to be. The moment, the present moment is perfect just as it is. Allow your attention to just keep returning to the breath. Having awareness of what is around you is not a bad thing. Many meditation teachers might give the impression that being aware of sounds around you, movements in the distance, feelings that you've got is somehow a bad thing because it shows that you're off a mindfulness object. That's not true. Mind awareness is a good thing. Being captured by what is in your awareness, that is not useful. So when you are aware of something, be glad, but then let it go and come back to the breath. Now, whilst you're perfectly happy to be aware of what is going on around you, 
to increase the focus of your attention, to increase the sharpness of your awareness, we're going to deliberately focus on the breath in more detail. So you may want to be aware of not only the in-breath, the retention, and the out-breath, but also the start, middle, and end of each of these parts of the breath. Doing so will both bring focus and awareness and a sharpness to your meditation, as well as allowing you to be less distracted by other external things in your environment. So take some curiosity and be aware of the different parts of the breath. as well as being aware of each parts of the breath. You can be aware of the difference between one breath and the next. Is the current breath shorter or longer than the previous one? And in particular, notice if each breath can allow a certain calmness to settle over you even more than the previous one.
as we come more and more to a state of peace, we feel the desire to stay in this state of tranquility. This is a great thing because it will inspire us in the future to remember how nice it is to be in this state of calmness. But for now, perhaps having learned one or two small bits of information that can help us in future meditations, We'll take those away as learnings for us and we'll begin to just open our eyes and come back into the room and expand our awareness once again to all the different areas of the room, the noises of the room. Okay, well done everybody. That was a breath meditation. I uh, sometimes go a little bit by gut instinct on how I teach and I decided not to bring in the colors in that one, but instead I was wanting to focus on uh, bringing a sharper focus by thinking about the different parts of the breath. Uh, so if you're expecting me to do colors, then I apologize. <laughs> but I thought it was nice to do it that way. So any questions on that particular meditation? Yes. Tony, do you want to uh, unmute yourself? Yeah. Yes. Um, sometimes when I'm on the holding of the breath, so I'm breathing in and then holding the breath, yeah. sometimes of um, this particular meditation, I, I get really anxious about holding the breath. Mm -hmm. um, and so most of the time I just won't hold it. I'll just keep breathing in and out. But um, when I was doing it then, I did focus on holding it and then the feeling just disappeared so that was good well there you go yeah so um yeah a lot of people have that uh and it does disappear in time um and so the important thing is just to not pay it any mind it's like little kind of anxieties of the mind getting in there um one way to uh, do it also is to not hold the breath but visualize you're holding the breath. So sort of just imagine that you hold like a brain breathing in. Now I'm retaining and you're not actually retaining, but you're just sort of pretending to retain. And then sometimes it comes a little bit natural. Um, again, just, yeah, the important thing is don't get too, too worried about it. I, you know, I became very rigid when I heard these instructions from my great guru and I tried to, hold them as as much as I could and I guess there may be some benefit in that but then later on I learned that there are different traditions and some have four parts of the breath and some have two parts of the breath and some do the inhalation twice as long as the exhalation or vice versa and I realized that at the end of the day the, the, the breath is you know how you do it is not the important thing it's whether you're getting distracted from outside that is, and, and are you able to bring the mind back? So, yeah, it's great that you're um, uh, that you be, you you became at ease with that. Um, uh, but if it happens in the future, yeah, there's no right or wrong way. Oh, thank you. 
Right. Any other questions? Wonderful. Okay. So we're going to move on now. Uh, and I'm excited to introduce Dee. And um, she's going to talk to us a little bit about hypnosis, which obviously is quite similar to meditation and, and can be uh, used in conjunction with or as an asset with with um, meditation. So thank you very much, Dee. I shall put myself on silence now and I'll uh, let you have the room, so to speak. Oh, thank you, Peter. And thank you, everyone. Um, my name's Dee and you probably don't know me. I've not been about a lot because I've, I've been really busy, but meditation and hypnosis are very similar. There's quite a few similarities, but the main difference for hypnosis is there's always a goal with hypnosis, whether it be self-hypnosis or someone else hypno hypnotizing you. And the way we self-hypnotize ourselves with meditation is through guided meditation. So you can record yourself or you can listen to your, a guided meditation that's available. And with the guided meditations, it may be one on calmness, it may be one on whatever it may be. But today I'm going to guide you um, through a calmness of the mind today. So a little bit of hypnosis in there with the guiding this. So... It's all good fun, all good fun and nice and relaxing. So if you just want to roll your shoulders back and just relax yourself. It'll be nice and relaxed after Peter, but just bringing that back to yourself, bring your mind back to yourself. And what I like to do in some of my meditations as well is I like to incorporate mudras and a nice calm mudra, which we can do is if we put our thumb and our forefinger, our index finger together, and your other three fingers are just sitting out. And if you sit them on your lap or just down beside you, if you're standing, wherever you are, just sit them down at the side of you and just relax. And if you just want to close your eyes, if you close your eyes through meditation, do that just now. And take a deep breath in. Put your breathing in. Follow that breath down through your nose, down through past the heart and into the stomach. And bringing that breath back up, up past the heart, through the throat and out through the nose. And just follow that back in, feeling that cold air through your nose. And down into the stomach as the stomach expands. And bringing that breath back up. And back out through the nose. And following it back in. All the way down. And when you get to your expanded stomach, just pause and swallow. And bring the breath back up again. And release. And pause again, swallowing. And one more time, all the way in. Expand that stomach and your chest and swallow and bring the breath back up and out and just regulating your breath. I want you to visualize yourself just floating on the water 
and that water all around you it's just white shimmering bright absolutely beautiful water and it goes as far as the eye can see all around you and you're safe in this water The water is supporting you and you feel relaxed and calm and loved. Feeling your head being held. Your shoulders relax. Your back is so relaxed. All the way down to the tips of your toes. Your body feels weightless. And that floating sensation is such a joy and it brings a slight smile to your face. Your weightless body just floating in that bright white shimmering light. Feeling supported, feeling safe, feel like you're in a cocoon that cannot be touched by the outside world. It's a beautiful place to be. As you float along, in the bright sunlight coming down upon you. Feeling the warmth, and it's so serene. There's nowhere he would rather be. Just feel the beautiful sensations as your heart swells with love. And your body's floating on that shimmering white light of that vast, vast sea. The ear is still. And you feel absolutely amazing. It's somewhere you enjoy to be. As you feel the air around about you, just slowly breathing over you, feeling that air of calm and tranquility. Enjoying how it makes you feel.
that nice, safe, loving, supportive, massive big hug from inside. The weightless body just floating along that beautiful white shimmering sea. As your whole body is relaxed and feeling weightless, enjoying every sensation that's going through your body. Enjoying the floating feeling. Just drinking all that beautiful serenity, tranquility, and calmness. Now, this is a place you can come back to at any time you wish. You're feeling the beautiful feelings. You're seeing the beautiful white shimmering light. Feeling weightless. And peaceful. And calm. You know you can come back here. At any time. And just start to follow your breath in through your nose. All the way down past your heart, into your stomach. And letting it come back up again, up through your throat and out through your nose. And one more deep breath in. All the way down to the stomach. Hold it there for a second. Just swallow. And bringing that breath back up and through your nose. Bringing your awareness back to the room, back to where you are. Wiggle your toes. Wiggle your fingers. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. And now that we're all back, Thank you so much. And I hope that you're feeling the calm and the relaxed. And knowing that you can come back here at any point. Thank you very much, Dee. That was beautiful. I certainly Thank felt you. calmness floating along there on my little private white ocean. <clears throat> um, are there, how did that go for everyone else? Any comments or questions? Dave and myself with regards to that meditation.
I will just comment on that, Dee. It was beautiful and uh, your accent is amazing. It also <laughs> helped tuning in. <laughs> um, it sounds pretty Scottish to me. Yeah, but very much. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was beautiful. So thank you. And I can go to bed now. I'll sleep like a log. <laughs> oh, oh, gee, that's thank gorgeous. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I had a, a, a little bit of a learning or a, a little thought during that process that I might share with you. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm interested, who felt it was easier to um, remain undistracted with the breath meditation? Put your hands up. And who thought it was easier to stay more undistracted with the guided meditation? Second one. So in general, that is right. Uh, guided meditations, of course, allow us to concentrate on the visualization and we get pulled into the hypnotic, beautiful tones of the Scottish <laughs> voice of D there. Um, but I guess what I found interesting was that wanting to stay there and keep up the visualization if D stopped talking was that I had to, I found myself deliberately creating that visualization and sort of staying there. Whereas with the breath meditation, you don't have to mentally create any picture because you've got the feeling of the breath. So being mindful of a one of our senses is immediate and real and i guess my thought was that even though for us beginners it is um easier to concentrate and feel more relaxed and feel less distracted with a guided meditation as you get towards intermediate or advanced levels of meditation it's actually more relaxing. There's less effort needed to be just aware of what is present because you don't have to do anything. The feeling of the air going in and out is right there for you. It's a gift from the universe so you can just be aware of it. Uh, so maybe that's something to think about as one of the differences between guided meditations and mindfulness of the senses. Uh, or my, you know, mindfulness of something in, in, your, in your room. Um, all meditations have advantages and disadvantages, and it's good to sort of know the difference. So that was my little learning from tonight. So thank you, Dee, <laughs> for that. Oh, thank you, Peter. Yeah. yeah. All right. Can I just say that I found that a lot of beginner meditators, are, they find the guided so much better mm -hmm. to begin with because they have nothing to do with it. They're just lying back relaxing. And it's when you begin to get more confidence in your own meditation skills that yep. then the breath work comes in and it just it makes life a bit easier for them and they don't have to go to the guided all the time. Absolutely. I had my baptism of fire probably, and I tell this in my, you know, teachings, uh, it must be 10, more than 10 years ago now, 15 or so years ago, where I started off with a group of 25 meditators in a group. And I taught them this technique and stay on the breath and stay silent. And over the period of about four weeks, they all pretty much all disappeared. I was just left with one or two. And it was because they were beginning meditators and I was just telling them to meditate on the breath and they couldn't. And I realized, you know, firsthand that for a lot of people, you need to start with nice, beautiful guided meditations and let them uh, kind of motivate themselves to go to those more uh, technique orientated mindfulness only meditations. Uh, so, yeah, so it's good to know which meditations are good for which type of people. Yeah, I think once they've got that confidence and they can follow the breath themselves, yeah. that then it builds and that's when you get the beauty and they, they don't 
a lot of people, I know for myself personally that I didn't know how to meditate. I started with mindfulness and just sitting with my eyes open, just trying not to let thoughts in. And then I would think, well, they're coming anyway, just let them come and go and all that and all the monkey chatter and everything. I just went with it because it was the only way to do it. And there was no one that I had to tell me mm. how to do this. Yeah. And eventually I was like, okay, learned how to do it eventually. And when I found the feeling of that peace and the calm, that changed that I could actually do it myself. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. Well, um, we shall finish up there. And if anyone has any more comments about those meditations, uh, I am looking for someone again next week. I've had a great set of people. Um, so if any of you who haven't had a go yet would like to join me, that would be wonderful. Um, just email myself or Sarah and uh, I shall bid you good evening or good morning, depending on where you are. And uh, I'll see you next Friday. If not, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. All the best. <laughs>